So The Music Man is a classic American musical that gets a bad rap, right? Everyone's like, oh, The Music Man. But there's something about it that's universal, which is the idea that a shyster salesman comes to down and convinces this town that sort of becomes stagnant and broken um, that music and art can bring them hope. I mean, that's what we do here every single day. I mean, we are The Music Man. I've been through so much, and dance always been a dear friend to me that never left. Without dance, there's no me. I wouldn't know myself if I didn't know dance. Isn't that just what I said last time, the lumber yard and now the footbridge? Where are you going to meet me next, the black hole of Calcutta? Ye God! <laughs> My dad had a huge gambling problem. So, I mean, he robbed a bank. No gun, no weapon, nothing too dangerous, but his disease just got the better of him. And we didn't see it coming. He was perfectly fine that morning the last time I saw him. He was on the, on the computer playing Candy Crush, nothing out of the ordinary, and then I got the call. It was disbelief, shock and a whole, a whole lot of questions that I had to ask him, like, why? It's been a really interesting experience working with the kids, the teens that are here, uh, as well as, like, the professionals. But the most amazing thing, I think, is, is everybody has the same work ethic. Uh, like, I've been in professional shows, and those, the kids, when we take 10, like, people normally get water and, like, take, take a moment, and these kids are, like, doing pirouettes and turning and practicing everything over and over and over and making it perfect. First of all, these kids are really talented. Um, and second of all, they're getting to meet other people who they probably would have never met in real life. And it's really interesting getting to see their personality start to shine through, seeing them like ask questions and trying to get to know you. It's, it's, uh, it's a really great uh, teaching moment. It's a really great moment to just uh, get to know people you wouldn't normally ever get to meet. Oh, uh, young lady. Oh, miss, uh, what's your name? Zanina. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea you were beckoning to me. Ye God! <laughs> we approached it from this idea of doing what we call colorblind casting or raceblind casting. And, and it really was about saying that America is is a mix, and it was great, because the kids at Hillside were like, we're not white, how are we gonna be a music man? You know, now you're making a shapoopy, what is that? You know, they, they, they really didn't, didn't see themselves, and that was the point. The point is they should be able to see themselves in a classic American musical. I decided not to use it as an excuse to give up or drop out of school or let it get the best of me. I just want, I just want my father to still have something to be proud about. I don't want, his actions affecting mine because I know that's not what he wants. And I know that's what he's scared of. So I decided that once I get back to Syracuse, it's time to buckle down, get serious, get out of here. I, I can't get nothing done sitting down. I gotta get out and get it. Nothing was handed to us on the silver platter. You gotta work hard for it.